welcome back to my channel. I am Dawn and you are on Delightful underscore Dawn. Happy, happy Black History Month to all my people. To the people in the front, to the people in the back, for the people who ain't Black, happy Black History Month. In light of Black History Month, I am wearing my Talladega College shirt. The illustrious, the esteemed, Talladega College, which was established in 1867 and is located in Talladega, Alabama. The video is my HBCU experience. Yes, the girl went to HBCU College, um, started off in what is called Upward Brown, and then I ended up basically falling in love, like those are my options, and I graduated from HBCU. So. If you are interested in watching this video, go ahead and give your girl a like. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because, you know, I want you to come back. And as the video progresses, leave a comment or two. Just tell me what you think. What's your opinions? Did you go to the HBCU? Did you go to uh, um, PWI? Let me know. It was a small school and in a small town. When I mean small, I mean pretty much like everyone pretty much kind of knew each other in the town that were from there if anybody don't know what hbcu stands for means for historically black college and universities and i was a part of that college part of the hbcu we are a small college constantly growing because at this point like we're way bigger than what we were when i went there and people prior to me but i mean that's what happened with growth and we can't do this with beloved you know what i mean so i'm like i'm excited <laughs> I'm excited for the growth of my HBC, progressiveness of the students, the progressiveness of the staff, the mindset. My experience was pretty much like, kind of like, like a flow up and down. I mean, starting off, I really do feel like it's the mindset of the person when it, when you go to school in general, because I've been to plenty of like college weekends or college events or visited colleges and literally they say the same thing. A lot of times people can adapt from going from their parents' home to going to an environment where they have a little bit of freedom and they kind of like almost forget like at the same time you're an adult but you still have expectations and rules like guidelines that you have to basically go by and I think a lot of times it's hard for people especially us youngins but I mean that's like something that kind of like blew me. It was different for me. Starting off I would say it was pretty it was rough it was rough only by the default of me being so shy I really didn't have, I had my set group of friends. Once I got over the hurdle of kind of like facing my fears head on, like kind of be consistent with what I was doing, consistent with um, holding myself to a certain standard, like everything pretty much changed. Like to this day, I would like to give a huge, 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 like thank you to the people that basically helped me and um, kept me like together. Cause like it was some times where I thought like, I was gonna leave school because I couldn't handle it mentally because I was going through so much stuff from home and dealing with my home life and then dealing with the college experience was like a lot for me. And by the grace of God that I had a dorm, um, a dorm manager, a supervisor, which we call a dorm parent, who basically like helped me through the way. Like it was times where I didn't have nowhere to stay because I was having issues with financial aid. And like this person was really an aid to me. And so I'm so, 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 so grateful for Miss Collins. I just wanna put that out there because like without her, like who knows what that would be. Besides that, I like to, like another person that was really big for me um, doing school was uh, Jones, Dean Jones. And like, if it wasn't for him and Miss Trailer, Miss Trailer was over our career counseling. Like if it wasn't for them, like basically giving me that push to do student government, then I probably would have still kind of like stayed in my shell and not have had the opportunities that they were able to like kind of help me develop. And then people like Dean help. People like these are like the, this is like the experience that you get from HBC. You have people that really care for you. Like they get, you get to know along the way. They kind of help you, guide you, encourage you. Dean Helvey have basically helped me with the mindset of really becoming a businesswoman. And he would do, he went on his way to do extra like 
stuff just so you can get the knowledge and for you can get that like he really worked on the mindset and then breaking down like finances break it down how to be your own business owner break it down not to have that dog mentality and like basically he was like the nugget man for like all <laughs> And I always say, I'm like, I want to be a nugget. What I want to give the nuggets, give the information, the knowledge that, you know, someone, like when I get to that point in life and someone wants, you know, guidance, I want to be that person for them. And he basically helped me to uh, realize that I can be, and he saw the potential in me. So, like, I can only be grateful for him. You're probably like, darn, at this point, you're doing just shout outs. I, let me get to the nitty gritty of the meat. My first introduction to, like, like beyond just like what the school was and beyond the classrooms was like the most like literally I would say 90% is going to be like when you go to HBC like where you're going to really enjoy it it's like literally that experience that you get on a campus that you get interaction with the people the opportunities that you get that they have connections going like outside of that like I can't even explain it. <laughs> like I'm so grateful for that experience. Like who knows like what I would if I would have opened up my mind during my freshman junior my freshman and sophomore year to really get to know people and really get out of my comfort zone. Like I would have had so much opportunities, but I was so shy. So I would say if you are currently a student at any college, like get out of your comfort zone. Like don't don't do nothing that's illegal but like do something that you wouldn't normally do so far as like organizations so far as like um just getting to know people like really their connection is going to be these organizations and leadership roles since you have fbla you have maybe like a science club a social um a marketing club i know a lot of people have like social work clubs maybe your department may have clubs or organizations that are part of that i would say like immerse yourself in activities like yeah get your knowledge make sure that you have a good foundation there but also get all of the experience that like if you're living on campus or if you're close enough to your campus make sure you get that experience i was a part of the pre-alumni council shout out to deloy shout out to the crew shout out to um miss sonetta shout out to all the all the peoples but the, it was basically an organization prepared you to become an alumni of the school so far as in fundraising so far and um knowing knowing the history of your institution getting having pride in your institution basically making you all around alum like a perfect alumni in a like a sort of sense during the year one of our goals was to raise money for um, the united negro college fund we had a miss uncf which was our our school and she would represent us in this um, pageant basically by the money that was raised and then from there they would give out scholarships to um, like multiple individuals so that was like kind of like our goal throughout the year besides like Im like immersing ourselves and being like true alumni i would say from there like it was so many opportunities for us to learn to learn how to deal with people to learn how to deal with organizations leadership roles i was a part of the scrapbook committee I just helped out in general. I was able to, uh, we were traveling for the um, conferences. I, like the first time I ever been to um, Walt Disney World, I believe. Also, so RA is in school. So that's kind of like a role of leadership. And we had the opportunity to go to Wiley College and do one of their resident assistance courses. Towards the end of my time being at HBCU, I was granted the opportunity to be on student government leadership which i was the vice president for student government association and like that was probably the first time i had to deal with other individuals on that type of leadership role but it was really an experience that i appreciate because without it like Dawn just wouldn't found the confidence in her. I was also on the activity committees before, but I mean, I'm not going to list down everything I was on. I'm just listing you the highlights that I think there was like the experience for me that made it like the best. And that was a part of it. I met literally like my best friends that like I would say are near and dear to my heart. I met at HBCU. Shout out to all y'all. I love y'all. I'm not going to list by names because when you miss somebody, it can get really crazy. People will start getting mad. But like every year, 
I can see the growth and development of like pride within me as a black woman. I will see the growth and development as pride in me as a future entrepreneur, as a businesswoman, and it gave me the confidence to be a, the person that I am now. Like even though may, I'm not, I may not have my own business at this time, I still aspire to do those things, and I was equipped with the knowledge to do. And so that that basically brings it all. Like it sums it pretty much up. Like pretty much my experience was was submerged with culture organizations and like lifelong friendships that honestly came through so many avenues through the professors students staff that i can be eternally grateful my mom always talks about how she's happy that i decided to stay there and how she's happy of the relationships that i had developed and continued since graduating she says she doesn't talk to her classmates or friends that she made, you know, 20, 40 years ago. And honestly, I can't see where I wouldn't have a relationship with some of the women and the men that I met at college just because even, even though all of us have different different life goals, different, different careers, that it's amazing to see that once we get together, we can get together, okay? And it's like a lot of other stuff that I, I wish that I could put in the video and tell you about like my HBU, HBCU experience or other people's HBCU experience. I have friends that are part of sororities. I have friends that are part of um, national organizations recognized for their academic achievements. What I pretty much like, that was my outside experience outside education at my HBCU. So yeah, that was my, that's my experience like in a short nutshell and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you like to know more if you want like a certain story let me know but yes i would like you to go ahead again thumbs up this video if you haven't already go ahead and like and comment and until next time stay unapologetically you and all that you do peace